We all try to impress the boss, <laughs> whether you're up for a promotion or it's just time for the buzzling, holding an umbrella over my head. You know what he told me? Your cologne smells amazing, Jesse. And I wasn't even wearing cologne. You know why he said this? Because it's Christmas tipping season. But we're all human and we can burn out. So when your boss finally steps out, you doze off. Costanza, where's Costanza? <laughs> Excusez-moi, have you seen Costanza? Uh, I've seen him around. Oh, he was humming this song yesterday. I can't seem to get it out of my head. I gotta know the name of that. There sometimes you just catch your boss sleeping in the office. And if you don't cover for him, you're out. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Oh, hi, Jan. He's uh, on a sales call. No message. Bye, Jan. Sleeping in the office used to be frowned upon, but now it's trendy. Companies realize, why should we send our workers home after an eight-hour shift if we can have them pull a 16-hour shift with a few power naps in between? So companies started building nap rooms, little sleeping pods, where you can dip out and doze off. So this is one of Huffington Post's two nap rooms. These are incredibly popular, and I can see why. Uh, apparently, they're booked all day, every day. You have to schedule your naps. Apparently, they're so popular that Ariana herself once joked, or was it a joke? She said she saw two people come out of a nap room. Ooh. Employees loved it. Nap rooms have boosted productivity by 35%, and profits are soaring. It even got the media asking, why don't we all just live at work? And when Elon took the reins at Twitter, he warned all his employees, work hard or take the severance and split. Of course, the first ones to leave were these people. Welcome to a day in my life as a Twitter employee. Then made my way down to this log cabin area. I don't know what this is, but it was really cool. Played some foosball with my friends to kind of unwind a bit. Um, also found this really cool meditation room that I thought was super neat. The people left now at Twitter don't have time for foosball. The foosball table has cobwebs since Musk moved in. And they've been working day and night to meet Musk's deadlines. Some have even been sleeping at the office. I know exactly what it's like. I may have done it. But San Francisco has a problem with this. Twitter's headquarters is in San Francisco. And the mayor of San Francisco, London Breed, launched an investigation into Twitter for building nap rooms at their headquarters. Breed unleashed building inspectors to raid Twitter's headquarters because you're only allowed to sleep on the street in San Francisco. You can't sleep at the office. They say they need to make sure Twitter's building is being used as intended. San Francisco's mad Twitter's working around the clock. Was anybody mad when Minnie Madoff was sleeping at the office? Not only was Minnie sleeping at the office, he was sleeping with coworkers at the office in the office. While he stole eight billion. And how did the media react to that? I want to thank you for engaging in it at a time in truth when I know you've been advised not to. So thank you so very, very much. Um, thank you. So you can sleep, screw, and steal at the office, and the Democrats clap. But if you work at Twitter, it's illegal to take a power nap. Now, San Francisco, the city with more drug users than kids in high school is saying this, the city that wants robots to have a license to kill, the city with $2 million toilets, legalized shrooms, government injection sites, the city with transgender reparations, where illegals register to vote and swing hammers at your head. You can't even get into San Francisco City Hall without swimming through a tent city. Kids have to step over crack addicts to get to class. Sorry, y'all gotta be for going through see all this. Okay. Get home safe. Get home safe. Come on, man. These little kids gotta walk through this. It's crazy. That's okay. But if you burn the midnight oil for Elon Musk, the mayor launches an investigation. 
A naked illegal alien on the lam can shoot heroin on the steps of City Hall, but putting a cot at company headquarters is against the law. You can sleep on a cot on the street, high on psilocybin, and the mayor doesn't care, but Musk can't lay a cot out if his engineers get tired. Musk hammered the mayor, saying, quote, San Francisco attacks companies providing beds for tired employees instead of making sure kids are safe from fentanyl. Over 500 people have died of fentanyl this year on London Breed's Watch. Just last week, a kid almost OD'd in a playground. Moscone Park in San Francisco's Marina District is a popular destination for the city's children. But now, one dad is posting on next door that his 10-month-old son barely survived after ingesting fentanyl at the park. The dad posted the child was at the park with his nanny, who noticed that the child was sluggish and that he was starting to turn blue. The post goes on to speculate that the child may have found the fentanyl in a leaf pile, the father crediting the quick thinking of the nanny for performing CPR and for first responders, who administered Narcan, which he says saved his son. Life. Is London launching an investigation over the toddler almost ODing on fentanyl in a city park? Nope. Mayor London Breed says don't believe your eyes. Downtown San Francisco is magical. You can come here for almost anything. Downtown is not just the place to shop. It's the place to eat. It's the place to hang out. It's the place to just look out at the magic and the beauty of what you see. Maybe if you're on magic mushrooms, which she legalized. So don't look at the tent cities in the attics, oh ding. Look at the Stanford grads trying to get ahead, trying to turn around the company, a company that hasn't made a profit in years. London Breed last year was begging Musk to bring tech workers back downtown. Please, Elon, no more remote work, she said. Bring the workers back into the office so San Francisco can thrive again. And what does Elon do? He brings them back. And what does she do? She launches an investigation. We told you last night, San Francisco's building a suicide net under the Golden Gate Bridge to catch people when they jump. What's it going to cost? $400 million. How long is it going to take to build? Five years. And it's all because people are being driven crazy in San Francisco. You know what? This is a distraction. This is about Democrats picking high-profile fights with Republican villains, like they do with Trump, like they do with DeSantis, like they do with Tucker, like they do with Musk, instead of governing. The media gobbles it up, acts like they're dragon slayers. Yeah, London Breed, stick it to Musk. Meanwhile, their cities and states are falling apart. Don't fall for it.